Level 11.2 The Perdition Exclusion Zone Survival Difficulty Class Dead Zone Environmental Hazards Strictly Uninhabitable Potential for Anomalous Entities The, per the Perdition is Exclusion Zone is a sub-level um, within level layer 11 Description. Flagged outside of a radioactive power plant on level 11 is the Prediction Exclusion Zone, an area roughly 75 kilometers in diameter and spanning nearly 1,000 city blocks of variously destroyed urban constructions. Its purpose is to warn of radiological contamination and reduce the spread of isopotates by discouraging poaching or scavenging within the area. Inside the epicenter of the zones of the prediction compound, the nuclear facility has been spewing radioactive nuclei into the surrounding area with uncontrolled abandon for an unknown amount of time. The risk of coming into contact with radioactive materials increases the deeper you're into the zone you travel. The fringe borders of the area are largely safe to be inside, with levels of radiation rising steadily as you travel closer into the, into the perdition compound. The first control zone with the exclusion area narrows into a 60 kilometer diameter around the plant. This is where your visitation without protective gear will likely expose you to dangerous levels of radiation. Deeper lies still lies the confiscated area anywhere within a 40 kilometer di diameter of the epicenter travel within this area is considered absolutely ha acutely hazardous and potentially lethal from mere several from mere hours of exposure due to the large size of this level it is impossible to mount to maintain Police borders. Procedures of flagging, fencing, or accurately making the perimeter of the zone has been considered, yet the resources acquired are beyond what the MEG is willing or capable of expending as of this time. Digitally mapping out the region on handheld apps has been the only reasonable method de declaring the zone to settlers of level 11 and the zone has been bar barricaded and flagged on major highways leading toward the prediction to, to partition compound where possible facelings discovered within the zone are to be avoided or killed on site depending on how long they have wandered the area they may harbor within themselves dangerous levels of radioactive isotopes and spread them mindlessly. The Perdition Compound. This level potentially holds an entity remarked as a doomsday level threat to citizens of level 11, known as the Kraken. See Discovery of the Pit below. The hellish epicenter of the radioactive activity lies within the nuclear power plant within the zone, dubbed the Prediction Compound. Unsuccessful drones who floyer has been have been attempted to record radiation levels and take photography of the plant. The potential, the potency of radiation knocks them out out the sky. That's without proper action. The fragile motherboards and circuits simply melted away. In order to perform any sort of proper survey of the sites, a compass point team decided to enter on foot. Shielded by body, the full body hazmat suits wearing plates of the lead and finally zipped into all white padded cloths overall coveralls. A 15-man team entered the plants looking to uncover its history. 
the exploration team's instruments began to fail from radiation, although a handful of photos were recoverable. The following information regards the prediction compound is sourced from the single investigation by members of the Compass Pass survey. The prediction compound is not a regular nuclear power plant. The inside is dark, pitch black, yet there are, are insects here which glow an eerie shade of rusty orange. The team also recorded instances of cyanide which seem out of place for a nuclear facility. Biohazard warnings. In the heart of the compound lies the reactor room. Its vaulting ceiling reaches nearly 80 feet into the air. Everything inside has been bombarded by intense radiation, which endured much of the intel structure's dust. And the reactors, as well, were long since gone. In their place, claim the team, lies an abyssal hole as wide as a city block and reaches deep deep into the underground. A lit road flare thrown into the pits descended in endlessly until out of view. And the radiation emitting from the depths of the void maxed out the team's instruments. It was detected that the core of the reactors after melting down has exploded in a similar fashion to Pryat's Chernobyl catastrophe. The immense heat and radioactive emissions melted the surrounding equipment into a metallic radioactive sludge, a molten ball of slag which began to burn through a lower basement level of the compound, gaining more material and traction and snowballing ever large as it sunk. The reaction was potentially was potent enough to be bored even deeper into the very underground level 11 itself, burning a pit of unknown depth which funnels endless radioactive particles upwards in a toxic spew. What was strange, however, was the apparent claw marks left along the side of the reactor room and along the sides of the pits. The team described deep, grounding tears along the surface of every within. These claw marks, as well as the biohazardous signs and strange nature of the compound, has led the MEG to believe the actor core was, in fact, a potent nuclear entity. Its radioactive heat and, destruct and destructive nature buried it deep with a hellscape of its own creation. The pits of the prediction compound from which it may be desperately trying to escape, a living elephant's foot slowly inched its way from the depths, yet sinking even further from the burning molten potency of its radioactive nature. Without a means of any further information, the reactor core of the compound has been labeled the Kraken, enlisted as a doomsday potential for societies within level 11. No further investigations for the prediction compound have been planned. Basis, communities, and outposts. New slash, there are any. There are no manned bases, communities, or outposts prediction exclusion zone. However, there is an unnamed way station along the fingers of the level before the first of controlled zone. Prediction Prediction Outpost 1. Pop 1 is a small apartment building shielded by the burnt of isotopes by a handful of taller buildings it was constructed beneath. The seven floors of this residential building have been un unfurbished to house protective equipment and hazard 
appropriate gear for expeditions into the level. Pop 1 is large enough to comfortably hold 200 members at any time, yet there are never any rations or potential or portable water stored on the presumes due to the possibility of radiation poisoning. Edges as an exits. The exclusion zone is a sub layer within level 11 and physically takes up space within its parent level. There are countless highways, streets, residential roads, pedestrian walkways, and subway rails lines which lead into and out of the zone. The MEG has marked as many of these entries and exits as they are able to do. But most of the reliable way to avoid this area is to either follow the digital map made by the MEG or carry a, a, jir, a jir counter on your person and avoid areas of high contamination.